I had no idea the morgue was shipping movies. What's inside the horror pack? The monthly horror movie subscription service. And sealed inside this body bag is some Blu-rays that can't breathe. <laughs> We're going to be letting them breathe, though, in a moment. First, though, a little 411. If you're interested in horror movies and would, hey, like to have them delivered to your doorstep every single month, Horror Pack is for you. Simply just click the link down below in the video description. You can subscribe to the Horror Pack, dot, dot, dot. And then you can either have four selected horror titles delivered to you, either in Blu-ray or DVD. We're going to reach to the side. We're going to grab our knife here. Uh, this is McCutcheon's. And, of course, we're going to slice carefully the bag and finally let these movies breathe. If you guys also could participate a little bit in this video, let me know down below in the comment section if you guys have seen any of the following four films and what you guys thought of them. And of course, also as well, if you guys haven't yet subscribed to this channel, I know we're doing this somewhat, somewhat earlier into this review, but if you guys haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe, join along in my adventures. Pulling out though the first title, what we have inside, this is The Grudge, The Untold Chapter. From the producers of Don't Breathe and Evil Dead, I actually already have the remake of Grudge. I think this is the remake of... Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The thing I really liked also about the, the remake of Grudge is that it had sort of a European feel to it. It wasn't simply just one that felt like a North American blockbuster. I don't know if I would even say it was a blockbuster, but not a bad movie at all. Uh, the back, it says, A curse born in Japan is simultaneous, simultaneously unleashed in the U.S. Those who encounter it are consumed by its fury and met with a violent fate. Producer Sam Raimi brings us the untold chapter of the horror classic starring uh, Andrea Rasenborough, uh, Damien Bursch, I think it's Bershire, Bershire uh, John Chow, and uh, Betty Gilby, with an all-horror legend Lin Shay, uh, Lin Shay, uh, in the darkest, creepiest, and most shocking film of the series. Over 40 minutes of special features, including an alternate ending and bonus scenes, too terrifying for theaters. Features include the making of The Grudge, behind the scenes with cast and crew, extended with alternate scenes, Easter egg haunt, and connections to The Grudge franchise. The running time for this, if I can actually find it, it's 93 minutes. That wasn't that hard to find, in fact. And it was released in 2020, so that's four years ago. The Grudge, have you seen it? Let me know down below. The next title that we're going to be pulling out inside, I hope it's one that I haven't seen or own in my collection, it's Scars of Dracula. Directed by uh, Roy Ward Baker, starring, of course, Christopher Lee, with Dennis Waterman, Jenny Haley, and Christopher Matthews. I have a few of the Hammer Horror uh, Dracula films. I don't know if I actually have this one. The Fearsome Count returns this time with literally extra lashings of sadism and sex. The legendary Christopher Lee is back as Dracula, bringing unspeakable horrors upon a local village that defines its evil reign. It defies its evil reign. But when a young man and it's and his, I don't know why they have to feel the need to put luscious, luscious girlfriend unwittingly visit the Count's castle, they find themselves trapped in a face-to-face -face frenzy of bloodthirsty vixens, religious blasphemy, and sadistic henchmen. The Prince of Darkness has returned like never before, but will this horrific mark remain forever? Patrick Troughton from Doctor Who and the Omen co-stars in this 1970 shocker, directed with bloody bravado by hammering veteran Roy Word Ward Baker, who was also doing the quartermass and the pit, Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde. Special features include presented in two aspect ratios, 166-1 and 185-1, new audio commentary by filmmaker, film historian Constantine Nass, and filmmaker, him, film historian Ted Nossum. Blood Rites, Inside Scars of Dracula, audio commentary with star Christopher Lee and director Roy Ward Burke Baker, and moderated by Hammer Film Horse historian Marcus Hearn, theatrical trailer, Still Gallery. Release date for this is a little bit older, 1970. That predates this guy's birth by eight years. You can do the math. Of course, it also has a running time of 95 minutes. Not bad. Not bad. Two pretty good titles so far. The next one we're going to be pulling out is The Huntress, the Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu-ray. I'm familiar with The Huntress, but I'm familiar with the one from DC Comics, not in the horror, not in films. Uh, in the grim final days of World War II, allied, allied forces invade the German homeland. This desperate but unbeaten, German soldiers and civilians will do anything to survive 
An American Army medical team is on the run, trapped behind enemy lines as its nurses and medics are hunted one by one by a vicious killer bent on their total annihilation. The team takes shelter in a German chateau, but soon find themselves in a deadly game of cat and mouse. The arist aristocratic family that has taken them in is not what they, they seem. Uh, when it's kill or be killed, who will find the will to survive? This was released last year, last year, in fact, and it's got a running time of 77 minutes. Hey, I can easily di digest 77 minutes. The last title we're going to be pulling up from this month's horror pack. Anybody want to take any guesses what it is? Anybody? 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 Oh, oh it's also a 4K. We've got ourselves Hellboy. Now, say what you will. This is actually a perfect time to look at this because SDCC just showed the newest trailer from the the new uh, Hellboy, was it the uh, the Crooked Man? I think it's the Crooked Man. Different Hellboy, different actor. Not really sure still how I feel about it. The trailer doesn't look bad. Actually, this new trailer looks a lot better than the first trailer. The first trailer sort of made the film look like a fan film. It stars David Harbour, not the newest Hellboy, this Hellboy. And this is actually being presented in 4K Ultra HD, Blu-ray, and digital. Again, I was a big fan of this movie. I'm not a... I don't think that Mila Jovovich, for example, is an incredible actress, but I do think that the movie as a whole was entertaining, and that's all I really need, especially when he's fat fighting the giants. Uh, the back says, a horrifyingly good time, Hellboy, and he's on fire. In this action-packed story ripped from the pages of the Mike Mignola's seminal work, the legendary half-demon superhero played by David Harbour is called to English countryside to battle a trio of rampaging giants. There he discovers the Blood Queen, uh, Nimu, I think that was her name, played by Mila Jovovich, a resurrected ancient sorceress, thirsting to avenge a past betrayal. Suddenly caught in a clash between the supernatural and the human, uh, Hellboy is now hellbent on stopping Nimu without triggering the end of the world. Yeah, that would be a hard thing to worry about. Uh, features include The Tales of the Wild Hunt, Hellboy Reborn, three-part documentary, deleted scenes, and pre-visualizations. This was released, hmm, hmm. It's, I can tell you, oh, it's 2019, was it that long ago, 2019, that's five years ago, and it has, a, it's 121 minutes, 121 minutes, I have Hellboy, I don't have Hellboy on 4K, so that's perfect, let's ha have a look at the titles, shall we, the titles that we got this time around from the horror pack in involve going backwards, we got ourselves David Harbour's version of Hellboy, the Huntress, another one with H's, Scars of Dracula, and the remake of The Grudge, which I suppose isn't so much a remake, it's a continuation. Have you seen any of these films? Let me know down below in the comments section what you guys think of them. And if you guys, again, are interested and would like to subscribe to the Horror Pack, you know, it's pretty easy. You just click the link down below. It takes you to their site, and from the site, choose either DVD or Blu-ray, or hey, why not? You can have also both. Put in your address, put in all your necessary paying options, and then you can have then the next box shipment or bag shipment this time around delivered right to your door. If you guys in the meantime did enjoy this video, throw it a like. Do it a solid. If you guys want to stick around for more though, hey, why not? Hit the subscribe. Turn on the bell. Come back, please. As always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.